The bullet ant. What an amazing insect. They call it the bullet ant because this insect has the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. And they compare it to that of a bullet. Now I never thought I'd be able to acquire one of these bullet ants. In fact, I never intended to. But I met an entomologist. I like to call him my entomologist. He specialized in ants. This is one from Brazil. That, uh... Wow. And that is a big insect. I didn't expect it to be quite that big. Yeah. People think they're solitary, but they aren't. They, they're colonies just like other ants. Yeah. Wow, that's horrible. My camera looks horrible right now. I'm trying to get, get it. Back. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you've seen these in several countries then? I've seen them personally in Ecuador and in uh, Costa Rica. In Ecuador, they're common. I mean, they were, it was easy to find colonies of them. Wow, that is incredible. They're, they're, they, uh, a lot of times, you, if you had to watch where you're walking, because uh, small trees, uh, you know, maybe four or five inches in diameter, they'd be nesting right at the base of a small tree like that. And right. The vibration, if you walk by, they'd come out of their nest and they, you'd, look, you'd look down and see them crawling up your pants legs. So you gotta, you gotta oh, be goodness. looking, because if, if they get up there and you disturb them, they, they sting. And it, yeah. And it's, it's but if you painful. don't disturb them, they may not sting? Uh, probably. Uh, yeah, let me get a good front view of this. You thing. can see there's like, almost look like little shoulder points yeah. on the on his pronotum on the back. So you have lots of different insects, I take it. Well, if you have, I have a few other have, things, but I got I don't I don't have a huge collection. I've got a lot of ants, but most of them are oh, still wait. in alcohol because I don't I don't get around right. to mounting them. Yeah. It just so happened that he didn't need this specimen anymore, and I asked him what he was going to do with it. He asked if I wanted it. I said, well, I'd be honored to take that specimen. I never imagined I could have something like that in my collection. You guys may have seen my previous video on the cow killer sting challenge. Well, this isn't a bullet ant sting challenge by no means, and in fact, this insect's not even alive anymore. But I thought y'all might find it interesting to be able to compare the size of the bullet ant with some of these other insects native to here in the Americas. The wasp directly to the bullet ant's left is the cicada killer. Those cicada killers eat cicadas. This is the bullet ant right up front and center here. And that's two velvet ants in the background for comparison. Those are both female velvet ants. I hadn't acquired any male velvet ants in my collection yet. To, in order to keep it from getting eaten by I have a whole display case full of insects. Oh, so that'll stick go it right in, in there with that yeah. as long as you got some uh, it's protected Moth by cakes or something, yeah. Moth balls? Moth, moth balls. balls don't kill them, they repel them, but uh, the best thing is um, this moth cakes, paradichlorobenzene. It's a, it's a different kind of is chemical. Is that they use to preserve the moths inside of like those that, cases? No, or? they just use it to keep insects from eating them. Okay. But, uh, yeah, mine's pretty might well not, sealed, but... Well, if, don't worry about it then if it's sealed. Probably. Yeah. Because that, that stuff, you probably shouldn't be breathing it all the time. Anyway, enjoy it. Man, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. There's over 1,200 species of ants around the world. However, there's only two species of bullet ants, and one specimen was found in amber, one to which is already extinct. All bullet ant species live in Central and South America. I've lifted some heavy stuff in my time. However, the bullet ants are capable of lifting 20 times its body weight. That's the equivalent of a two-year-old lifting a car. or me lifting a school bus. Thanks for watching this episode of The Great Outdoors. I'm your host, Alex. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe. Thanks again.